Officer Hetland was off duty last week when he jumped in the middle of a robbery. Mary Jo Ola live at Carthage College where visitation is underway. Mary Jo. Yeah, you know, since we've been here, we've seen law enforcement from all over the area show up. We've seen squad cars from the city of Kenosha, Shorewood and Winnebago County uh, as those officers show up here to Carthage College to pay their respects. As you can imagine, it is a dark day for the law enforcement family and Officer Hetland's loved ones and the community he served for 24 years. On a cloudy June day, the men and women who serve and protect came together. This time to mourn Racine police officer John Hetland. It's really hard when you're attached to somebody you know, and this is just senseless. This is just so absolutely senseless. State Senator Van Wangard used to work with Hetland. And I think that we are blessed to have guys like that that run towards the gunfire instead of away. Hetland's loss is felt across the community he served. Memorials for him can be found across Racine. Outside his visitation, a blue rock with his badge number. It breaks my heart. Stephanie Bedford is a manager at the Racine Culver's on 21st. I did not personally know him, um, but I have uh, people that work here that are related to him as well. So it's, you know, it hits close to home. The owner donated $5,000 to the reward fund to help catch Hetland's killer. Bedford says seeing Hetland's relatives and law enforcement family going through a painful loss is a somber reminder. Sometimes they do look uh, like they're invincible and you don't really think of law enforcement agents as, you know, being able to, you know, but they take a risk every day when they go out there. So, I mean, I respect it and I appreciate it. Again, we cannot say it enough. If you have any information that can help investigators solve Officer Hetland's case, call police right away. Reporting live at Carthage College, Mary Joola, today's TMJ4.